Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. Molly O'Callaghan has claimed the 200 metres freestyle gold medal at the Paris Olympics. She's done it in Olympic record time, coming in ahead of teammate Ariane Titmus in the silver medal position. Meantime, an Australian equestrian has won silver in the individual eventing competition. Christopher Burton came in behind Germany in the event on his horse, Shadow Man. Two other news and two children have been killed in a stabbing attack in England's southwest. Nine more children are injured, six of them in critical conditions. The attack happened at a dance and yoga workshop for primary school aged children in Southport. Police have arrested the alleged attacker, a 17 year old male. Two drivers have died and the Newell Highway is closed after two trucks collided 35 kilometres north of Moree in New South Wales. Emergency services were called to the scene at about 10 last night, arriving to find a tipper truck and a B-double had collided. The drivers are yet to be identified. A new report has found women are retiring on average seven years before their male co-workers. The Australian Council of Trade Unions reveals a quarter of Australian women working are retiring before the age of 55. Menopause is found to possibly cost women in the 50 to 54 age group more than $15 billion a year in lost earnings and superannuation. ACTU President Michelle O'Neill says unions are campaigning for 10 days of paid reproductive leave to help them manage it. 80% of women talk about menopause negatively affecting them at work, but 70% of them say that they don't feel comfortable to talk about it at work. So it's seen as a taboo subject. So the issues that could be put into place to support women to keep working are often not even discussed. US burger chain Carl's Jr. will be closing some of its Australian stores after being placed into voluntary administration. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, North Melbourne forward Cam Zerha has signed a five-year contract extension. The NRL season's over for Rabbitohs star Alex Johnston. His ruptured Achilles means he'll be sidelined for up to nine months. In entertainment news, Lady Gaga has dropped a personal bombshell revealing she's engaged. She casually introduced boyfriend Michael Polanski as her fiancé when meeting with the French Prime Minister in Paris. They've been together since meeting at a 2020 New Year's Eve party. And Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds are flying high at the US box office. Their movie Deadpool and Wolverine has scored the sixth biggest opening weekend, pulling in $211 million. It's earned more than $440 million at the global box office. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.